Hi guys, this is Full Time FM, and welcome to episode 4 of No Way Jose. If you're joining us for the first time, I've put Jose Mourinho in charge of Blackpool to see if he can use his managerial skills and reputation to get Blackpool all the way to the Premier League, then into the Champions League, and then see if they can become the biggest club in the world by winning the Club World Cup. So, it's the 1st of September 2016. Season 2 has ended, so we'll check out how they did in Season 2. Because it's the 1st of September 2016, they've probably played a couple of games in Sky Bet League 1 this year as well. But I've just checked out the staff and we've got some massive news. The reason I checked out the staff, if, if we check out the finances here, they've now gone from piss poor to rich. So there was a bit of a... When I looked at that, I was thinking, my God, why have they gone rich? But if we check out the staff, if you remember from the first episode, they had two owners called Carl and Owen Oyston who were killing the club outside Bloomfield Road at every single game, game these protests for the Oyston owners to get out of the club. But now they've got a new chairman, Colin Lang, and a new director called Michael McDonald. Now, I haven't put this in the game. If you look, I can't click on that, so I can't edit that whatsoever. That has just happened in the game. And if we go back to the profile of Blackpool, they're now rich. So it looks like these two guys might be putting money into Blackpool. And Jose Mourinho can use that money to invest into the squad and maybe get them into the championship and then the Premier League. But we'll check out the transfers in a minute. What we'll first do is check out Sky Bet League 1. And we'll also check out how they finished last season. So if we just go on to stages, click last year. Now, they had a bad year last year. They finished 18th on 58 points. Berry were relegated on 57 points, so Blackpool were only one point away and a couple of goals away from going into the relegation zone, so they were quite lucky to uh, stay in Sky Bet League 1, and maybe that is why Carl and Owen Oyston decided to sell the club and they've got new owners in. So looking at this season, they've played five games, they've done okay, they're in the, in the playoff positions, they've played five, won three and lost two, they're on nine points. Hopefully, if Mourinho can keep this going, He'll be able to get them promoted into the Championship. And like I said before, maybe they can get into the Premier League and the Champions League. So what we'll do is check out the transfers of Blackpool. Because the last couple of seasons, they've not really been able to buy anyone. They've had to get a couple of people in on loan and also get a couple of free transfers as well. Because they've not had that much money to spend. But because this says rich, I'm kind of uh, intrigued to see what kind of players they've bought. Because, as always, this is the first time I'm looking at the transfers when I do these experiments, just like you're looking for the first time now. So, we're going to transfers, transfer history. Right, total, 9.5 million spent. So, it does look like the new owners are starting to put a little bit of cash into the club. So, Mourinho can invest with some players and make Blackpool a lot stronger. Now, the first person they bought, they bought was Jonathan Grounds from Birmingham. He came in on a free. He's a left back, he can play centre back as well. He can also play left wing back, left wing and right back, but that's pretty awkward for him. So we'll just put the editor on quickly so we can check him out. He's 28, so he's got quite a bit of experience. Tackling's decent, marking's decent, heading's decent. Reads the game pretty well, good positioning, good work rate, pretty strong as well. You do need to remember this is Sky Bet League 1 and not the Premier League. So these attributes are pretty decent for someone playing in Sky Bet League 1. They also brought in Chris Dagnall from Corella Blasters for £20,000. So he's a striker. He can also play behind the striker and the right ring as well. 30 years old, so uh, he's got experience too. Let's we'll just check him out. Pretty quick, good natural fitness. He's quite agile too. Finishing's pretty decent. Um, his work rate's very good at 18. That is nearly maxed out. So he's a decent player too. They've also brought in Josh Pritchard on a free transfer. I'll stick the editor on because I can't tell you too much about him unless I put the editor on. That is because I'm unemployed in the game. I just uh, So I've not got scouts or anything like that to check out the players, so that's why I use the editor to have a proper look at the attributes. He's a centre mid, he can play just in front of the back four as well. 23 years old, so he will get better. Um, looking at his better attributes, he's not that technically gifted, uh, but he's quite aggressive. He's the game okay, I suppose. Good work rate, pretty quick. Um, Sky Bet League 1 is okay, I suppose. They also brought in Thomas Eastfield on a free. He's 23 years old, plays just behind the striker. He looks pretty good. Dribbling's 13, crossing's 12, corners is 12 as well. Decent first touch, passing's 12, technique 12. Very good work rate, teamwork's good, he's off the ball's good. He's composed, anticipation's pretty good too. Pretty quick, his acceleration's good. For a Sky Bet League 1 player, I think he's pretty decent. Uh, so that's Thomas Eastfield. They also brought in Craig Alcock on a free transfer as well. Very versatile, 28 years old. Can play centre-back, right-back or left-back. 
He looks pretty good, I suppose. Decent stamina. Very aggressive. He's quite brave. Determined. Leadership qualities are pretty good. His positioning's okay. Good teamwork and work rate. He can tackle. Decent at editing. 5 foot 8. So he's a little decent player. They also brought in Adrian Mariapa as well. Wow. 29. 33 caps for Jamaica. I think that is. Yeah, Jamaica. He's a centre back. Now for Sky Bet League 1, he is very good. Tackling 14, marking 15, heading 13. Aggression 13, determination 18, nearly maxed out. Leadership quality is 16. Very, very strong. Very quick for a centre back too. So he, uh, that is a very good sign in bringing in Mariapa. They also brought in Richard Chaplow from Bristol City on a free. He's a centre mid. He can play left wing just in front of the back four or behind the strikers as well. 31 years old, so he's got a bit of experience too. Uh, looking at his better attributes, let's have a look. Technical attributes aren't the best, but they're okay, I suppose, for Sky Bet League 1. Good work rate, teamwork's pretty good. Uh, he's quite brave, determined. Apart from that, nothing really spectacular. Oh, Wayne Routledge from West Brom on a free. That is uh, quite a decent signing for a, for a side like Blackpool in Sky Bet League 1. Very versatile, can play on either flank or just behind the striker. Dribbling 14. Uh, decent technique, absolutely rapid, decent work rate, decent vision, off the ball's good, his flares 15, I think that's a good addition to the Blackpool squad. They also brought in Chris O'Grady from Brighton on a free. He's a striker, 30 years old, 6 foot 3, so he's a big guy. Dribbling's okay, finishing's pretty decent, first touch is okay, heading 16, uh, so he looks like he's a big powerful target man. Strength is 16 as well. Um, his work rate's decent, flares pretty good, he reads the game pretty well. Then he looks pretty good. Six foot three, very strong, he can head the ball. Uh, good work rate, so if you're looking for a big target, man, he looks like a very good signing for Blackpool. They also brought in Alexander Tonev on a free. He's 26, he's got 25 caps for Bulgaria. So he's absolutely rapid, pace and acceleration both 15, he can cross, his dribbling's okay, uh, decent technique, work rate's alright, I suppose he's okay, you know, I probably wouldn't start him, but for Sky Bet League 1 he's okay, if you're lucky, if you're losing a game last 10 minutes, and you want to try and exploit the fullbacks getting tired, you can maybe bring this guy on, he might be able to beat them with his pace, so he's okay I suppose, and he's very experienced as well, got a lot of caps, he also brought in Grant Hill from Brighton, 2.9 mil, He's a centre-back, he can also play right-back. 24 years old. Um, stamina's good at 16. Pretty quick. Uh, apart from that, his marking's okay, heading's okay. Uh, he's quite composed. But Sky Bet League 1, like I keep saying, is not too bad. He also brought in Connor Mahoney from Blackburn. 5 mil. He's 19. Plays on the right wing. He can also play behind the striker or up front as well. Very, very quick. Uh, his dribbling's 14. Techniques 13. For a 19 year old, he is going to get better. He'll, you know, his attributes will st stop going up by the time he's about 25 or something like that. So he's got a lot of time to develop. So it looks like Mourinho is invested in a little bit of youth as well. And then looking at the last signing is Jonas Knudsen from Swansea, 1.5 mil. He's a left back, 23 years old. Very quick. Um, he's a, an attacking left back as well. He's crossing, he's 12. Good at free kick taking, good at long throws, tackling's okay, good work rate, uh, very aggressive, quite brave, pretty quick, good stamina, so we will get up and down the flanks all day long. Can also play centre mid, so he's quite versatile too. So they're the players that Mourinho's brought in, and it looks like it's going to be the turning point of this series, because, uh, like I said, I wanted Mourinho to kind of use his managerial attributes and his reputation to attract players using the, because Oyston and uh, Carl Oyston and Owen Oyston literally were not putting any money whatsoever into the club. If we go back onto the transfers and just check out uh, the other two seasons as well. Now, as you can see, they spent nothing in the first season. Second season, they only spent £50,000. And the season after that, nearly ten mil. So it does look like the new owners are pumping money into the club. And uh, Mourinho has now got some money to spend. So, they're sitting sixth in Sky Bet League 1. After five games on nine points. Hopefully they can get promoted to the championship. So what I'll do is holiday till the 1st of February 2017. We'll see where Blackpool are in the league. And because they've spent nearly 10 mil in the first transfer window. 
Um, it looks like they could be spending a little bit more money as well in January. So that's going to be the end of the episode. It's a turning point in the series. Blackpool have now got new owners. Mourinho looks like he's got a bit of money to spend as well. Hopefully, the new owners plus Mourinho plus the money can get Blackpool from Skybet League 1 all the way into the Premier League, then the Champions League, then come in the biggest club in the world by winning the Club World Cup. And one of the things I want to check out as well in, after a couple of seasons, once uh, these new owners are pumping money into the club, is looking at the... Uh, the stadium, see if they buy a new stadium, new youth development program, all that kind of stuff. So that'd be pretty interesting as well. So hit the like button if you liked it. If you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. And if you want to see the rest of this series and all the other content on the FM Scout website by the other content creators, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next at the 1st of February 2017. And I'll see you guys then.